Okay. I got. It's hot in here. Mm. Go back. Ow. 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 I burned my tongue yesterday. I'm hella thirsty. <laughs> mm. oh. oh, yeah. That's good. Ugh. My butt is burned, too. My name is Taylor Kimball, and I'm a burn injury expert. Today we're going to be breaking down burn injuries in movies. Let's check it out. The Tudors. Oh look, that's our loving kindness and mercy. For me all the days of my life. That I may as dwell in the Lord's house. Wherever. Oh! Oh! That's pretty accurate. Grandma's boy. <laughs> I've, I've seen this one. It's never a good idea to cook when you're high or under the influence. Order out. Order takeout. <laughs> that's, that's just playing with fire. Literally. Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna leave some raspberries. Uh, you just put a little cortisone on there, or if you don't have any, you can you can use toothpaste. Yeah, you'll be fine. I wish I could s slap some toothpaste on this. Yeah, you you won't he won't have to do multiple surgeries and borrow skin from his ass. I'll tell you that much. Suck it, fucker, ass. Go back. Fuck Stop right all. there. Stop. God. See that? See all? He's cussing. See how he's cussing? It's funny, you when you burn, you know, you stub your toe, any little small thing that it's more frustrating. He's saying all these bad words. You know, everybody does that, but when your face is on fire, uh-uh. You're not gonna you can't find the words, I'll tell you that much. You're just gonna scream. It's it's the only thing you can do. Just scream. Constantly. Until you pass out. Oh, Ghost Rider. Like this. See how he's screaming? He's not saying nothing. He's, your face is on fire. You're gonna yell and scream like Nicolas Cage. That's, that, he is, this is good acting. Cause he's, he's, he's screaming. He's screaming like how it feels to have your face on fire. He, he should have won an Oscar for this one. Honestly, when that happens, you just need to stop, drop, and roll. I mean, you just, you kind of, when it happens though, you don't remember that. You can't remember. When the pain hits you, you just, boom, straight to the brain. You feel that right away. What's weird is that his clothes didn't burn. <laughs> when, you, when you're on fire, man, everything burns everything so you're gonna your jacket's gonna it's gonna melt and and actually stick get on your skin my my clothes burn to my skin i have a right here my thigh i've got a piece of levi jean and it was real denim and pieces of the raw denim jeans got stuck on my thigh and melted on they had to remove it and on my back i was wearing this corduroy jacket boom boom implanted onto my skin I love that jacket too. They're gonna get it out on Tuesday though. The Sandlot. I don't remember a. I don't remember a f 
fire scene in this one. Does the dog get up? Does the dog burn? You play ball like a girl! <laughs> There's the burn. I see what you did there. That... That's a different kind of burn. That's the kind of burn that hurts people with disrespect. Uh, sometimes those can be just as painful. Um, yeah, that's accurate. Say to people like, hey, what's wrong with your face? You know, or, you know, ah, you just like scream like, oh, hey, ugly, you know. Those, those burns hurt just as much as the fire burns that burn your skin in a different way, mentally. You can't put toothpaste on that, you know, to cool it down. You, you know, you burn your hand, you can put toothpaste on it, and it'll cool it down. But there's no toothpaste for a mental burn like that. It hurts your feelings. You could talk to somebody, uh, you know, like a therapist, your friends, family. You talk to somebody, you know, and they hear you. Uh, that's like that's like mental toothpaste on your head and your brain, and it, it cools it down, cools you off. You feel better, right? You put a little toothpaste on your wound cools it down you put toothpaste on your or not toothpaste you talk to somebody cools you down I have a I have a doctor's appointment after this at a certain point you're not dead but you pass out whether you're dead or not you know so when someone's on fire and they stop screaming, you know, still put them out because it doesn't mean they're dead. You know, they could have just passed out. So you might save someone's life if they're on fire and you think they're dead. You look at them and you think, shit, they stop screaming. I don't hear them anymore. But still put the put water on them, put them out because they might still be alive because you pass out from the pain. And just because somebody's not screaming doesn't mean they're dead you're you're they just pass out it's just something that happens